If I send a plain text email using Gmail to somebody, including my PGP public key block, is that secure? I've been trying to figure out practical encryption aka PGP for many years. As far as I can tell, this is not fundamentally flawed. I know Joe's email address, cool underscore joe at gmail.com. I have a Gmail email address, me underscore 78 at gmail.com. I have GPG installed on my PC. I send a new email to Joe consisting of the PGP public key block extracted from GPG. Joe received it and can now encrypt a text using that PGP public key block of mine, reply to my email, and I can then decrypt it and read his message. Inside this message, Joe has included his own such PGP public key block. I use Joe's PGP public key block to reply to his message, and from this point on, we only send the actual messages no key encrypted with each other's keys, which we have stored on our PCs. Is there anything fundamentally wrong, insecure about this? Some concerns? By simply operating the email service, Google knows my public key, but not Joe's, since that is embedded inside the encrypted blob. This doesn't actually matter, though, does it? They can't do anything with my public key. The only thing it can be used for is to encrypt text one way which only I can decrypt, because only I have the private key on my computer. If they decide to manipulate my initial email message, changing the key I sent to Joe, then Joe's reply will be unreadable by me, since it's no longer encrypted using my public key, but Google's intercepted key. That means Joe and I won't be having any conversation beyond that initial email from me and the first reply by him, which Google can read, but after that, nothing happens since I can't read, decrypt his reply. As Stefan already said, the Achilles heel on your security is making sure you are talking to Joe, and Joe being sure he is talking to you. If the initial key exchange is compromised, the third party will be able to read your messages, re-encrypt and send to Joe, and vice versa. The crypto does not matter unless you solve this issue. That's why on the HTTPS world, there's a special entity named CA, Certificate Authority. The CA is to make sure Google cannot obtain a certificate for Facebook, and so on. So unless a rogue CA issued the certificate, you can navigate to Google, and be sure you are on Google. The initial key transfer is the critical one, and this can be done in a couple ways. In person, by out-of-band message, tweet, Instagram post, snail mail. Referral by a friend in common, you know Bill, have his key saved, and Bill knows both of you, and shares both keys. After this exchange, your setup is pretty solid. 